Daja Hal. Everyone has been doing these covers of The Lonely Brave, and there's absolutely loads of them, and some of them have done really exceptionally well on Billy Billy. So today, we're going to do a quick review. I went onto the front page, and I looked at the most viewed ones on the first few pages, and I've just grabbed a few, and we're going to listen to them today. We're going to have a look at some of the positives, maybe some of the negatives, and see which ones stand out from the original. First, we have Go Yong Chu, female version, and that is by Zhu Yana. So listen to a little bit, check it out, see what it's like. <laughs> So you might be able to tell that it's got the same sort of backing to it. I feel like it's a little bit missing the fragileness of the original on that first verse. Let's listen to a little bit later on. <laughs> So she got a lot more raspiness, a lot more anger now in this bit, which is much better. So there, I think there still needed to be a bit of a strength. The underneath harmony, which is a lot deeper, really brought that up. But at least her vocals in that part had a lot more expression. And as a vocalist, she's really, really good as well. So let's move on to second female singer. So this one also did really, really well by Xi Xi Man. And uh, she's also done a vocal cover of this. So let's listen. Her voice is much softer than the last one, I feel. I love her pronunciation as well. So yeah, I think that here, you can tell the difference between the style of the vocal, between this one and the last one. Personally, I actually prefer this. It's, it's a little bit more whispered. It's a little bit more personal. So I think that that adds to it and makes it a little bit more original, makes it stand out a little bit more to me. I love her high notes here. So there again, just on that little bit, um, just to compare it, I guess, to the last one as well. It doesn't quite have the anger or the rasp behind it. You can tell that a lot more effort is being sort of put in, but it doesn't have, quite have the dynamics of number one. Okay, so that is the two female vocal covers out the way. What do you think of them? I like them both for different reasons, as I've just said. So next, we're moving on to something a little bit different, and that is the version that's done by Phoenix Legend. You know who they are. Let's just get into it. Their voices gel together a lot there, and I like their harmony as well. Yeah, I love the layering there on the vocals. And I like that he comes in on that second round. I really like that the arrangement on this one is a bit different with the guitar in there and the, the guitar and drum focus. It's got a very different feeling with this. I like that, it's very original. Nice, nice. 
uh, said their vocals complement each other really well. So that is a really good duo, and I really like the way that they work together on that, and it's got its own original arrangement as well. So next is a guy um, who you may know. He's called Sean Gibson. This is another male and female cover, but it's a little bit different because they actually do it in English. Really excited to hear this. Obviously, that means that it has its own original lyrics. See if it stands up to the Chinese. This is go fight every single fight like this is your last fight Not every hero wears a gold I like their harmonies a lot here oh, Here's the sound of glory from the crowd We said heroes can't be found. Yeah, I like Jordan's uh, harmony so there, I think, compared to Phoenix Legend, I don't think that the vocalists match each other quite so well, and possibly that's to do a little bit in the mix in the post-production, but it can be to do with the way that their voices meld as well. But I actually prefer the harmonies that they do here. The harmonies are a lot more interesting, and Sean really makes that what it is. Yeah. Right. And the English lyrics are actually pretty good here. I don't think that they're necessarily better than the, the Chinese ones. It doesn't flow as nicely. It does work, and it's really interesting to hear that it can be translated. The one thing here is that Sean actually looks like he might try and murder me with those eyes. Sean, that's starting to scare me. But in all seriousness, that's a great cover. And again, both of these between Phoenix Legend and Sean Gibson, they both have their merits. I really like the original arrangement of the Phoenix Legend one, but I actually prefer the harmonies that Sean uses in his cover. Okay, so next, we also have somebody that you're going to know and love. I, Tenga. I love this man. He's just so cool. He's a very happy man. And so this is his cover. Let's see how he does. He always has great dynamics to his voice like that. I really like it. He's so soft there at the start and so enunciated as well. He really takes the vocal line and turns it into his own. You can tell it's him straight away. And here he shows the passion and the anger as well. His voice is really suited to this. I love the way he just really shortens those notes there and really stamps it out. That really makes it individual. And Tenga, that, that cover was awesome. Obviously, he's such a good vocalist and he makes it his own really well. I really, really, really enjoy his vocals for that reason. That is all the vocal covers that I'm going to talk about. Next, we have some instrumentals, and we're just going to start off with a short, snappy one. So this is by Dan Jita. Dan Jita, wahaha. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. He does a guitar finger tapping style um, and that's really interesting. So obviously this is all original arrangement that he's done here. Let's just take a quick listen. Yeah, that's so awesome. I think, you know, that's so original and he's managed to transpose that to fit all on one instrument, which is Ace. His production setup's really good. I love his reverb. When he does these two hits uh, just on the top of his guitar, like a snare, that really adds like a rhythmic flow to it. And he can differentiate between the loud part and the soft parts really well using those harmonics. So really creative there and I really like that cover. Next we move on to a traditional Chinese cover. Peng, 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 peng. Peng, peng, peng. I can't. She's super awesome. She goes out into France, I think. She does these awesome Gu Chung covers. I'm just going to throw up some highlights from that. Let's take a listen. I love that bend.
So I really love her setting for this one. Obviously, she's out in the public. I find that's something that's so difficult to do, playing to a bunch of random strangers in the street. Got a bit of a crowd formed here, and she builds up. Let's listen to the climax. Dude, I love that run. I'm back up as well. I mean, that's just so cool. I love the way that it runs up and down. Her bends are awesome. The way that she's adapted the vocals. Don't know if the people watching really knew how interesting and difficult that is to do but she's done a really good job and i love what she does as well very very original so next we have a guy and his parents i believe Wan yinyue the easy i really like his name actually I guess it sort of translates to music playing zz or, or something and uh, that's definitely not the case so here we have a few instruments so let's have a listen so I have the violin here Her playing's pretty, pretty perfect and pretty spot on. Even though it's perfect, it feels a little bit too standard to me. Now this is the cool bit, because I think that is a French horn that he's playing. And that's cool. So there with those harmonies, then that's where we really, I feel, get the best out of this one. And obviously there's the piano in there holding it together. So having this arrangement down to this trio is really good. I actually enjoy the combination. Just the combination of those instruments is quite special in itself, I feel. And they've done a really good job there. Here we have another original arrangement, which has been done again using some traditional Chinese instruments. So I feel like this one's pretty special as well. It's been produced really well. So let's just take a listen to some of it. Cool. So obviously we have the Oru here. So the instruments build up and build up and build up to this final climactic point, which we'll listen to. Um, and it really shows the originality and the skill of this one. I really like the video as well. I didn't realize that you could shred so hard on an Urhu and you have the sauna in the background and there's more instruments as well. There's this great little picture here which sort of shows the arrangement that's going on and it's pretty impressive to say the least. Okay, so finally we have my boy Ryson Hunyan and his sauna arrangement. Let's end the video with a bit of style. Here's his cover. He has the two different keyed saunas there and he harmonizes them, to layer them up and everything to make it like more epic. Still learning a lot from him about the sauna and how to play it. And here I think that he's done the song justice and added his own little twist to it. So that is the review roundup of some of the top covers on Billy Billy for Gu Yong Gu. So tell me which one is your favorite? I liked all of them, but for different reasons. Every artist that I talked about here is amazing. They've done a great job. Go and support them all. That ends all of the uploading of Gu Yong Dura covers. No more allowed. I've ended it.